like honest male perspective. So, you know, for me, I want to bring two things, the honest male perspective, and then like in my background a little bit, I'm a financial advisor with UBS uh, Financial Services. So I've been doing that for 13 years. Um, I met my wife at Morgan Stanley about 10 years ago, and uh, she was a financial advisor, which you've heard as well. Uh, so, you know, we've kind of gone through the business together. We got to 2008 and 2009, which was not exactly a great time for my business. Uh, so, so she started out and uh, she came to me in 2009 and said, I think I'm gonna leave the business and I'm going to start this organic fields business. And I said to her, that's, a, that's so cute, honey. That's a great idea. Uh, the market's kind of crumbling right now. I kind of need you to stay around right now. But she started it and, you know, lo and behold, it's worked out pretty well. But, you know, at the time she started, I was saying to her, I don't think this is going to be such a great idea. I was a little bit uh, skeptical like a lot of guys are, right? You know, so what I want to kind of bring tonight is a financial advisor perspective on the business. So not only a male perspective, but also... You know, I have to look for opportunities for my clients every day, and I have to look from a financial advisor perspective of what I believe about the business and why I think it's a great opportunity. So I'm gonna bring, you know, not so much product, I don't know anything about the product, I don't know much about, you know, I mean, like, you know, I, I wanna bring, you know, more of a male perspective tonight, like, you know, be more real with you. So, you know, from uh, a, uh, starting out, from a perspective of her starting out in the business, so I'm talking to the guys here, okay? You know, when your wife starts in the business, she says she's going to events, right? All right, she's saying that you need to watch the kids. Okay. <laughs> Not fun, I remember that, okay, we had young kids. I'm like, you know what, you got, you're working 48 hours a week, making $51, you know, a month. Uh, so that wasn't exactly working for me. I'm like, I hope you're paying for the gas money going back and forth between events. Um, so that really didn't work for me at the beginning. Um, and then she said, I want you to come to a seminar that I'm doing, which, you know, at the beginning, there was not, you know, 60 people. Uh, I, I, I remember my business when I started out uh, as a financial advisor, I used to like you know, think that one person coming to my seminar was worse than no one coming. All right, meaning that if one person walked in, it's going to be really difficult to explain to this one person that no one else is coming to the seminar tonight, right? So she was at that point where we used to go in the Blindbrook Golf Club downstairs, and it was her and Becca, and I think Mel, and Jamie would sit down and do a presentation that was, you know, that was it. Okay, so that's how this business starts, okay? So anyone that's sitting around going like, well, this is normal, no. Like, yeah, at the very beginning, it's a grind. And I remember in my business, I was scared to death every time I did a seminar. So yeah, I might be like, you know, talking it down a little bit, but the point is, is at the very beginning, it's tough, okay? So guys gotta hang in there. And I think that's really important to give that perspective, okay? Um, you know, uh, from a uh, perspective of uh, what the opportunity actually is right now. I'm sure you've heard today uh, that the company is now, I, I know Jamie's gonna get into this, but number one in anti-aging in the country right now. Woo! I mean, that's a really good one, right? right? So to be number one in the country right now is a huge deal. And like, you know, looking at my perspective of what I can do for my clients, I always look at opportunities for growth for their, obviously for their portfolios, okay? I run, you know, retirement plans, and I set up portfolios for clients that can kick off income for them to live off of when they get through retirement, right? So we're looking for companies that are gonna be able to kick off that growth that they're gonna need, okay? So right now, there's four companies to me that are separating themselves right now from the rest of the industry, okay? All of corporate America, I look at four companies, okay? Jim Cramer, I don't know if you've seen him on Mad Money at night, but he's a guy at CNBC. He really coined this phrase, it's called FANG, okay? F-A-N-G, FANG. It's four companies. Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, okay? We all know those four companies. Just amazing companies right now, right? Okay, Facebook, okay, there's four things that all of these companies are doing incredibly well right now. Facebook, social media, okay? Number one, social media, okay? Number two, Amazon, okay, is really looking at really having online sales. That's huge right now. All of us are shopping online. Okay, I don't know if you saw it today in the Wall Street Journal, but Amazon's about to pass Macy's as the top online retailer, okay? Netflix, 
having a unique product set. That's huge, having a unique product, okay? And lastly, Google, which all of the four companies do, have huge top upper level management, okay? Have really respectable, really leaders that are innovative, right? So all of these four companies do that. Sounds exactly like Rohan and Fields. I hate to sound like a commercial, but that's exactly what this company is doing. They're doing all four of those aspects incredibly well. And that's why this company's got 600 million, or was it 600 million? Mm -hmm. 600 million in sales over the past year. And has moved into an upper echelon right now that's starting to get to the point now where they might be number one across the board, we're hoping at some point, mm -hmm. right? But it's still early, okay? With a 12% US market share, there's a lot of room for growth at this point. Worldwide, we haven't even touched it yet. We're just getting to Australia, right? Uh, we haven't even touched Europe. We haven't touched Japan and uh, China and et cetera. So really, at, like, I mean, I think at this point, it's important for guys to hear from someone who was a non-believer, who's become a believer, okay? Someone who's been through six years of nights <laughs> where I said, well, what are we doing? Why are we doing this, right? So I think it's important to hear that, and I think it's important to, you know, for the guys in the room to come to me after this if you want to talk a little bit about the business or whatever the case may be, but I really want to bring this, you know, all the way around to what I do. It makes it, you know, more relatable to guys, I think, to hear more from a granular of what exactly the marketplace is like at this point and why this company makes sense so much at this point. Um, you know, look at Sears, right? You know, look at, uh, you know, J.C. Penney. Look at a lot of these companies out there that are really failing and r and is thriving, like right now. And it's not a great economy, okay? GDP growth might be 1% right now. It's not great, okay? Global growth is not really booming right now, but r and is, and there's a reason they are, okay? Uh, so take a look at it, and I think I'm done, so I'm gonna <laughs>